What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we're going to be getting ready together using a full face of Victoria Beckham Beauty, one of our favorite brands here on this channel. I have the new Satin Eye Casual in the shade Seafoam, so I want to play around with this today. And I also have a couple of products from the brand that I haven't reviewed here on my channel that I've been testing out, so I thought we would give them a try. I will share all of my thoughts, all of my favorites. I have a couple comparisons, of course. So if you want to hang out with me today and hear all of my thoughts about these Victoria Beckham Beauty products, then keep watching. All right, let's get into this look, shall we? Now, at the time of me filming this video, Victoria Beckham Beauty does not have any foundation, concealer, or setting powder, but she does have the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer, and that's exactly what this is. It is a very moisturizing primer for the skin. It is made in collaboration with Augustinus Batter. I know a lot of you guys love that skincare brand. Augustinus Batter, to my knowledge, is a world-recognized physician and professor. He is an expert in stem cell biology and regenerative medicine according to the internet and so she partnered up with him and his brand to create this product now i put a little bit on the back of my hand i have the shade golden it does come in like a basic you know transparent shade if that's what you prefer but i really like the golden shade because it just gives a little bit of like glowiness to the skin this also gives a little bit of warmth to the skin and hopefully you guys can tell it just adds a ton of moisture. I really like this. I would say it's kind of similar to the Chantecai, like the bronze skin tint. I'll do a quick comparison for you guys in just a second. It's not as pigmented as like the RMS Supernatural Radiance Serum. It's a little bit more kind of dewy and moisturizing and more serum-like than that. It also is not quite as pigmented as the new Dior Glow Star Filter. I think that I would recommend this mostly to those of you who really want something with good skincare. If you like the Augustinus Batter skincare, I think you're really going to enjoy this. The skincare aspect of this is really what makes it different from a lot of the other products that are on the market. So you can see there, it just gives like a little bit of glow. I know it looks very, very warm on the back of my hand, but I feel like on my face, it's just like a really nice light little bit of glow. Let me show you guys a quick comparison actually. Okay, quick comparison. So right here, I have the Victoria Beckham Beauty Primer in the shade Golden. This is the one that I just applied to my face. In the center right here, I have the Chantecai Bronze Face Tint. And this one is a little bit more pigmented and slightly less dewy. I think I like the Victoria Beckham one just a little bit more because when I go in with the Chantecai, I feel like the color is not quite right, at least at this point in the year. Maybe in the summer, it will be a little bit better. I feel like I have to work it into my skin a little bit for it to not look like I'm wearing the wrong foundation color, if that makes sense. And then right here, I have one of those Chanel primers that came out in the beginning of the year, the Healthy Glow Winter Primer and this was in the light copper shade. I think this is the one that I probably like the least. You know, I like it. It's just the one that I like the least. It kind of blends out into nothingness, and I like the feel of the Victoria Beckham one a lot better. I think it's more moisturizing. It just feels, I don't know, it just feels richer and more luxe on my skin, and I enjoy that extra little bit of pigmentation. So that's a quick little comparison for you guys, so hopefully that all makes sense. I went ahead and just finished my complexion off camera because like I said, she doesn't have a foundation, she doesn't have a concealer, at least as of today, and I use the Chantecai Future Skin Foundation and a little bit of the NARS Creamy Concealer. And now we are going to be moving on to my favorite product from the brand, which are the bronzers. Real quick, before we get into the formula, can we just admire the absolutely spectacular packaging that we have with these bronzers and quite honestly, every single product in the Victoria Beckham range. I love the products. I love the way that they perform, but she nails the packaging. Like this has got to be some of the best packaging in my entire luxury beauty collection. And I've tried a lot of brands, guys. Victoria Beckham Beauty is the best. Like this is weighty. This is like a paperweight. This is metal. This is what luxury packaging should be. A lot of you guys tell me that you don't even care that it's not travel friendly. You still travel with this because it's your favorite bronzer. And I've been guilty of that as well. So I just wanted to give her a quick little shout out. I feel like I'm always talking about the packaging, but we're going to talk about the formula as well. So these bronzers, they are number one, a matte formula. And number two, you're getting a two in one. So already off the bat, you're getting two bronzers, 
for the price of one. And I really like the shade range from Victoria Beckham Beauty. And I also like the colors that she sort of paired in each of the compacts as well. I have right here the two lightest shades in the range. So we have 01 and 02. Both of these work for me, but I do use them for slightly different looks. You guys will see right here that 01 has a very light bronzer shade. So something very, very natural for fair skin tones. And then the other shade in the palette is more of like a cool toned sculpting shade. So if you like something very natural, kind of lightly sculpted, and if you like something that is more like neutral to cool tone, I would go with this one. Whereas the 02, this is more of like a traditional bronzer for me. It's obviously going to be one shade deeper. Like this is very, very fair. And it also is going to be just a little bit warmer, particularly on this side right here. The classic bronzer on this end, I would say, is just a really nice neutral bronzer for fair skin tones. I'll show you guys this watches here on my arm. So right here is the 01. Notice how this is the lightest shade. And then you have kind of like the cooler tone sculpting one. And then this right here is going to be the zero two. I really like both of them. It just depends on the look that you're going for. So many fair skin subscribers tell me that they really, really like this duo. And as you guys can see from these daylight swatches, it is a very sort of airy, finely milled matte texture. I'm going to start off by going into the zero one shade. I feel like I haven't demoed this one as much on my channel. And I've really been into these super natural bronzers these days. It almost looks like it's not gonna show up on my skin, but just like the YSL, the Charlotte Tilbury, some of those other ones that I've demoed recently, it does. It does show up once you put it on the skin. It's just incredibly natural is all. And I will do a comparison with those two in just a second. Actually, let me put some on this cheek. You guys can kind of see that subtle difference. It's really nice, especially when I'm not tan at all. I don't really tan that much, so this is good. But in the summer, I usually will switch to the 02. Or if I want just more of like a bronzy look, I'll switch to the 02. So see? See how beautiful this is? It is such a good product. This is one of my favorite bronzers ever. It's not going to be glowy, of course. I have other bronzers like the RMS that give me more of like that glowy look. But for a very natural matte look that lasts all day, especially in the summertime, especially when I'm, you know, getting a little a little sweaty out in the heat. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, these are refillable. So once you finish them up, you can purchase the refill. Or I know some people, you know, they buy one and then they'll buy like a second shade as the refill and they'll kind of swap it out if they get tan in the summer. So that's another option for you guys as well. And this is the Hourglass Veil Powder Brush, I think it is. I've had this for forever. And I'm just using the smaller end of the brush and I'm going into the sculpting shade and I'm going to see that see how pretty it is i'm just gonna sculpt the cheeks such a good two in one you guys know i've already sung praises of these for so long these are my favorite product from the brand if you're gonna get anything from victoria beckham beauty i would say get the bronzers as much as i love a lot of the other products that i'm going to be showing you okay so this is what the zero one looks like on the face very natural very airbrushed i will show you real quick just this shade in the zero two just so i can kind of demonstrate the difference in the tones i'm gonna put just a little bit on the tops of my cheeks here it is a little bit, I don't know, kind of like neutral, slightly pinky, and it just adds a little bit more tanness to the complexion. I don't want to put on too much because then it's going to be like a little bit clownish, but you can see that just warmed up the face ever so slightly. And before we move on, I will show you a quick comparison with some of the other very more fair matte bronzers in my collection that I've talked about recently on my channel. So can you tell which one is which? This one right here is that Victoria Beckham Beauty 01 in the palest shade that I applied to my face first. This one right here is the YSL bronze in the shade 01. It also has a very matte finish. I would say that the YSL, when it goes on my face, it usually ends up looking a little bit warmer than the Victoria Beckham Beauty one. So if you wanted something slightly more neutral, I would probably go for the Victoria Beckham Beauty. And then this right here is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that I just purchased in the shade 
fair. I feel like it's pretty close. I think that the Victoria Beckham Beauty one is just a little bit peachier and this one is slightly more neutral. So I'll link these down below in case you guys are interested, but just thought that that would be helpful in case you have either of those bronzers. Next up, I have a product that is new to me. This is the Contour Stylus. This was recently gifted to me by the brand. And so I wanted to share with you guys my honest review. I've been testing this out for the past week or so. And if you've never heard of this product, it is a very slim little contouring stick. The shade that I have here is the lightest shade in the range. It is called Travertine. And I really like the shade. I think it works perfectly for my skin tone. I'll show you some comparisons, of course, in just a second, but the color is beautiful. I also think that the formula is really nice. It's really creamy. It's really blendable. That being said, I will be honest with you, friends. This isn't my absolute favorite contouring stick for a couple of reasons. The first thing is that I don't really like how slim it is. I think that this is really good if you want to use it as like a cream eyeshadow stick or if you want to contour your nose, like more precise contouring, like that's what this would be perfect for. But I don't, I'll kind of demonstrate what I mean. I don't really like using it on the cheekbones, which is where I normally contour because it leaves like such a thin line. I feel like I have to work a little bit extra. See what I mean? See how it's so leaving a line? I feel like I have to work just a little bit extra to kind of like really blend it into the skin. And I really don't want to disturb any of the foundation or concealer that I already apply, particularly in this area, just because that's where I get a lot of my like hyperpigmentation. So I want to be mindful about not rubbing anything away. You can see it's beautiful. Okay. These are like very nitpicky things, but I much prefer my Westman Atelier face trace stick, which I have right here which like if I go in with this, it just leaves like a chunkier streak and I find it a little bit easier to blend in. The other thing that I don't really like about it is that you just really don't get that much product. You only get 0.04 ounces and it's Victoria Beckham Beauty. It's gonna be a luxury price point. Once again, if you're using it on like a smaller part of your face, maybe it will last longer. Maybe you like that it's super travel friendly. Maybe you like to carry this around with you in your makeup bag. Then I guess it would be worth it in that case, but you're getting 0.04 ounces in this. And then in the Westman Atelier, you're getting point two one ounces. So that's a very, very big difference. I just don't really feel like it's worth the price point. So not a bad product, but just not really my favorite. I will show you guys, however, a quick comparison of the shade Travertine and then my favorite, the Westman Atelier in the shade Biscuit. They're pretty similar. The Travertine is maybe just a little bit more neutral. And since I've been talking about them so much on my channel, I will also show you guys what these two Glossier Cloud Paint bronzer colors look like up against Travertine as well. So right here we have the shade Sail. So that is actually almost exact. And here is the shade that I like to use for contouring, which is the shade swept and that's going to be a little bit cooler in tone. Sorry if you can't see them all very well. I hope hope you guys can see that. So they're all very similar. I feel like they all work very well on my skin. If you want something super cool tone, I would go for Swept from Glossier. If you like a stick formula, I would stick to the Westman Atelier, even though it's very expensive. It lasts me at least a year and I use it almost every single day. Before we get into the rest of the makeup, I am going to take a second to do my brows. And so I'm going to be using the Victoria Beckham Baby Blade Pencil. You guys know I love this. I finally got another one. They they actually gifted it to me. So thank you, Victoria Beckham Beauty for restocking this favorite for me. This has the teeniest little point, which is what I really like about it. It's very precise, but it's also pretty easy to blend out. It's not going to be like a, like one of those eyebrow pens. You can draw little strokes, but if you use the brush, it is going to brush out, which is fine for me. I don't really have the time to like sit there and draw like individual brow strokes, but I do like to be able to like just fill in exactly where I need it. I'm trying not to make my brows too, too bold. And then I'll just go in with the spoolie side and I'll brush it out. And by the way, I'm using the shade medium brown. I'll have all the products in all of the shades 
listed down below in the description box for you guys. Okay, so brows are on. Now we're gonna be getting into blush. And for that, I have the Cheeky Posh Cream Blushes right here. These are the two that I have. I will swatch for you guys. The first one is a neutral. This one is called Playground. This is the first one that I picked up. I think I'm gonna be using this one today because it'll go better with the eye look that I have planned. It is a beautiful neutral, kind of slightly peachy brown, peachy nude, I guess I will call it. Really beautiful color for every day. If you're looking for more of like a neutral, I would go with that one. But I also have a recommendation for more of like the spring and summer months. And that is this shade right here, which is called Fever. And I know this looks kind of bright, okay? But trust me, you only need a little bit. It's so beautiful. It is this bright, warm, reddish orange. And once again, you could just kind of like go in a little bit and get that little kind of corally flush. Ooh, I love it so much. I kind of want to use that one. I'll have to save it for another demo, guys. But for this look, I'm going to be using Playground because this is the one that is going to go better with the Seafoam liner, which I know a lot of you guys are excited to see. I'm going to go in with a brush on the stick to first pick up a little bit of pigment. This is the BK Beauty 101 and I like to blend it in like that because once again sometimes when you have a smaller stick like this you run the risk of like wiping away the foundation so I find that I like to go in just like this see how nice and neutral that is these are really really beautiful cream blushes they're just as good as all the other favorite ones that I have in my collection. I do really like the packaging, just like the rest of the products from Victoria Beckham Beauty. You have the beautiful, I think this is like a horn, not actual, but the pattern is. I called it tortoise shell one time and somebody said, it's not tortoise shell, it's like a, horn material, horn pattern of some sort. Excuse me, my words, I'm searching for my words today. I just really like the formula. I feel like it lasts a long time. It blends really well, as you can see. It's a great cream blush, and these are also very travel friendly. So these are definitely a recommendation in my book. I think it just depends on like whether or not there's a shade that you like. They give kind of like a nice moisturized look, but they're not super dewy or slimy or anything like that. And there's no glitter or or shininess at all. It's just pure moisturizing cheek color. Next up, we have the Reflect Highlighter Stick. This is also new to me, and the shade that I have here is called Pearl. This is the lighter of the two, and this is going to be kind of like a dewy highlighter balm. As you can see right there, it's very, very glossy, but it does give a gorgeous reflective pigment. Do you see that? Like, it's absolutely mesmerizing. And can we just take a look once again at the packaging of this stick? It is so gorgeous. Like this is display worthy. I absolutely love it. Now this, because it is rather dewy, I recommend not going in like this on the face. That is what I did the other day and it did wipe away my foundation. If you don't like super dewy highlighter sticks, I don't think you're going to like this. But if you do like just a little kiss of dewiness on the cheekbones, then I do think you're really going to like it. So this is how I like to apply it. I think it's really nice. Is it the most groundbreaking product? Not necessarily. I do think that you could probably find some of those Chanel highlighter balms that are very similar. But as you can see here on my hand, let me blend it out a little bit. It does give an incredibly beautiful, radiant, natural glow. So if you're looking for something very natural or subtle, or if you wanna do like a full face of cream makeup, I think that this is a really, really good choice. Okay, so now we're gonna be getting into the eye look and I'm gonna start this look off with my second favorite product from Victoria Beckham Beauty, and that is her eyewear eyeshadow sticks. And this shade right here, Trench, it is kind of a boring shade, but that being said, it is one of my most used shades in the range. It's just a soft brown, and I really like this for priming the lids if I want something that's gonna last all day, just serve as a really nice base, and also just cancel out any of like the little veins that I have on my eyelid. These eyeshadow sticks are incredibly creamy and blendable, but once they sit down, man, they last all day and they are crease proof. If you are interested, I already have like two or three videos showing all of the shades in this range. So I will link those down below. You guys can see the swatches and what they look like on the eyes. But for this look today, I'm probably only gonna be using one or two because there are a couple of other products that I wanna showcase. 
base. But see how that just gives a really nice light natural base and it's going to prevent our makeup from creasing throughout the day. Before I go in with the seafoam eyeliner, I'm actually going to apply a little bit of powder shadow as well. And I'm going to be using the Smoky Eye Brick in the shade Silk. I feel like this is such an underrated product. I feel like everybody talks about the eyeshadow sticks and the other eyeshadow singles from Victoria Beckham Beauty, but they don't really talk about these little eyeshadow palettes. I love this particular shade. It's the only one I have, I will say that, but I do really like it for what it is. It's an all shimmer palette and all of the shades are just so beautiful and neutral and smooth on the eye. Let me swatch this one for you guys right here. Do you see that? You see how smooth and buttery that looks? It doesn't emphasize any texture, anything like that. And every single time I wear this on my eyes, if I'm just filming, I don't know, a video where I'm not doing my makeup, I always get questions like, what do you have on your eyes? It's just an absolutely stunning formula. So I'm gonna go into the lightest shade because I feel like this is gonna contrast nicely with the sea foam color. And I'd like to just layer that on top of the trench eyewear. It's such a good palette, I love it. I always keep this in like my everyday makeup drawer. If I just want something simple, or if I'm shopping my stash. I'm also gonna take this shade just under the eyes to kind of brighten everything up. And I don't find any creasing or anything from these either. There's no glitter in any of these shades. It's just like smooth. It's called silk for a reason. The shades do quite honestly look like silk. It's a really beautiful, very, very underrated palette that I love. And I believe that these are also refillable if I'm not mistaken. I think you can buy refills of these, but I feel like this would take you an eternity to use up. Like there's a decent amount of shadow in this little palette. And if you have the bronzer duo or one of the bronzer duos, you can use that, or at least what I like to do is I like to use those as my matte shades. And then I'll go in with this and these will be my little array of shimmer shades for just a really pretty look. Actually, I think I'm gonna go into one of the lid lusters as well, just to add a little bit more sparkle to this look before I go in with the eyeliner. Now, these are the single shadows from Victoria Beckham Beauty. These are gonna have more of like a creamy formula, unlike the eyeshadow palette that I just showed you, which is just a little bit more airy. It's a powder formula. These also tend to be a lot more like pigmented and sparkly. The shade that I have right here is called Starlight. It's one of the newer ones and it is a gorgeous bright gold. And I just thought that the sea foam liner is gonna contrast really nicely with the brown, the silky white, and then this little bit of gold. So I'm gonna add a slight touch of this. You can use your finger, but I'm just a brush person. I like to use a brush. So I'm actually just gonna add that right to the center there. These are great for one and dones. They're great toppers. I think they're really nice. I have a couple of shades so far and I, I think that they're good. The first one that I bought, which was called Blonde, is a little bit crumbly. Some of you guys told me it depends on the shade. And then I tried more shades and I was like, oh, okay, these are actually quite smooth. Although I do like the blonde shade. I love that color. That one is my favorite color but the formula is just a little bit crumbly. I feel like as they've launched new shades, they have improved the formula. Like each new one that I try just keeps getting better and better and better. And as you can see, you get a little bit more of like a high shine impact from these. One other thing that I really like about these, specifically about the packaging, I know this is gonna sound so dumb, but the opening here is much wider and flatter than other single shadows that I have. So if you have long nails like me, you actually can fit your finger in there and you can swirl it around and pick up pigment if you wanna go in and use your finger to apply it. So I, I really appreciate that. As someone with long nails, sometimes I just, you know, I feel like I can't really get any of the product out and apply it with my fingers, which is why a lot of times I do use a brush. All right, now we're gonna be going into the Satin Casual Eyeliner in the new shade Seafoam. Can't wait to show you guys this beautiful shade. And if you haven't tried this product before, this 
is the best seller from Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is her most popular product. These are very creamy, very blendable eyeliners. I don't really like to use these for super precise graphic looks because they are so creamy, but I love them for every day. I love them for kind of smudgy and blended outliner looks. And so many of the colors are really beautiful and really sophisticated. I have every single shade of these, if that gives you any idea of how much I love them. I did receive this one in PR from Victoria Beckham beauty so thank you victoria beckham beauty for sending it to me and this is the new shade seafoam can you tell i tried to match my shirt to this color today i just think this is such a fun color for spring and summer and i also think this is going to be really really beautiful on brown eyes so let's go into this one right now i am going to give this a quick little sharpening because i've been swatching it and i want it to be a little bit sharper when you shop for these on the victoria beckham beauty website you can choose to have it come with a sharpener or not. So you pay an extra like two or three dollars. The sharpeners are really good. They're made in Germany. Someone was asking me the other day, how do you sharpen these? And they're pencils. So you just sharpen them with a sharpener. I don't know if it's because the packaging looks so luxe. It doesn't seem like you can sharpen them, but you can sharpen them just like a normal pencil. And then on the other end, guys, I forgot to show this. It does come with the nice little smudger, which we'll use in just a second. Okay, let's go in. And I will say, friends, that the matte colors, just like this one that I'm using right now, they are just a tad, just a little bit softer than the ones that have the shimmer in them. So kind of keep that in mind. These are very, very soft, so you don't wanna press too hard because some of you guys have told me that you press and like the little tip breaks off a little bit. Be gentle with them. You don't need to press hard, which is the beauty of these. They don't tug at the skin. I have a lot of subscribers who have mature skin that say they really like these because they don't really wanna be, I mean, nobody wants to be tugging at their eyelid skin. And I have actually purchased several of these for my mom who's in her 60s and she uses them all the time. Her favorite shades are bronze and cocoa. And I would say the two that I use the most are definitely the bronze and the cinnamon. Obviously the brown ones, okay? But I like all of them, I like all of them, but those are the two that obviously I'm gonna use the most. So I have that on, and now I'm just gonna do a little smudge right there to blend it out. This is a great color if you wanna add a little like a little hint of pastel, but like you don't wanna sort of commit to colored eyeshadow. It's a very um, kind of sophisticated and elegant way to wear it. And sometimes what I'll do if I wanna create a little bit more of like a lifted look is I'll go like that, just put a little shadow or a little liner rather on the outside corner. And then I'll use the smudger to wing it out like that. Probably one of my favorite colored liners from Victoria Beckham Beauty so far. I also have right here the Instant Brightening Waterline Pencil, and I'm just applying this exactly to what it would suggest, the waterline to brighten up the eyes. I really like the look of this as well with the seafoam color. You can also put this in the inner corner if you wanna brighten things up. It's just a good, you know, multi-purpose type of product for brightening up the look for every day. And then finally, before I go in with mascara, I'm gonna be adding just a touch of this eyewear. This is called Oyster. And I feel like this is probably one of the best ones to pair with any of the eyeliners, any of the other eyeshadow sticks, eyeshadows, you name it. It is just the perfect topper, inner corner highlight. You can do it all over the lid. It goes with everything because it's just this beautiful shimmery oyster type of shade. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that right there in the inner corner. I love it. It goes perfectly with the sea foam. Same kind of like sea themed <laughs> name as well. Comment down below, let me know what you think of this eye look. And of course, I'm gonna be finishing up this look with some mascara. I have both of the mascaras from Victoria Beckham Beauty, and I've never done this before. I thought it would be fun to do this mascara on this eye and this mascara on this eye, just so you guys can kind of see the comparison. I'll even it out later, okay, for my Zoom calls, but at least for now, we're gonna do this for science. Now, the first mascara that I have right here is the first one that she launched. This is the Future Lash Mascara, and this is kind of a very natural mascara. Take a look at that wand. It is so teeny and slender. It really helps you get every single lash. This one is gonna be great if you like a lot of length and if you like 
just something that almost looks like you're not wearing mascara, very clump free. So I'll show you guys what this looks like. You can absolutely build it up by the way, but I'll just do one little coat here so that you guys can see how natural you can get it. It gets every little lash. Sometimes I'll go down and then I'll go up and it provides a beautiful fluttery coat. I think this is probably one of my favorite natural mascaras and it also is very, very long wearing, comes off very easily with warm water and it doesn't irritate my eyes. I actually used one of them up and this is a fresh tube right here. So let's get another coat on here. And then right here we have the newer mascara from Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is the Vast Lash Mascara. And this of course is going to be the volumizing mascara. She came out with the more natural lengthening one. And now we have the volumizing one. And this has a chubbier brush and it's also a little bit curved as well which I appreciate. I feel like it lifts the eyes a little bit. This is going to give more of like a one stroke coverage type of situation. You just have more on the brush. See how much I got on there? It just gives a much more volumized effect. I often think which one do I like better? And it's really hard to choose because I do like that this gives more volume, but I feel like the Future Lash Mascara is a little bit more unique. I don't have another mascara in my collection that has that super thin, very precise brush. It's really good for the lower lashes as well. Both of them have really good formulas. It really just depends on which brush and kind of look you prefer. Do you like more volume or do you like something more natural? And for me, it just really depends on the look. So I don't know if I could say that I have a favorite per se. I really like both of them. I use these all the time. So here you can see the difference. I feel like it's pretty apparent. So this is the Vast Lash and this is the Future Lash. Comment down below, let me know if this is helpful if you've been trying to decide between both of them. They both have really good longevity and neither of them are irritating. Both of them are easy to remove as well. Okay, so I evened out my lashes a little bit so that it didn't look weird. And now we're gonna finish things up with the lips. I have two lip products to show you guys. The first one is the Posh Lipstick. I do only have this in one shade, which is called Spice, which surprise, surprise is a warm, neutral, really good color for every day, but she does have some other deeper colors in the range. I will say, I think that this color, it is a little too maybe light or my lip tone. See how my lips are naturally a little bit rosy. I think that one of the deeper colors would probably suit me better. That being said, you know, I think that these are nice. I have a lot of subscribers that really like these because they're very easy moisturizing and they kind of feel like a lip balm, but they have the pigment of the lipstick. For me, this just isn't my absolute favorite. And once again, it could just be because the shade doesn't work super well for me and my natural lip color, but I don't really feel like they last that long. I have some other lipsticks in my collection that I like a little bit better. They're not bad. They're just not my favorite product from the brand. But as you can see, it looks very, very moisturizing, really nice pigmentation. It's just not the perfect shade for me. That's all. So I wiped off the lipstick because I want to show you guys what is my favorite lip product from the brand. And that is the Posh Gloss. These are really nice lip glosses. The color range is so beautiful and elegant. The packaging, of course, is gorgeous. And the formula, ugh, chef's kiss. I love these lip glosses. The one that I have right here is called Poolside. It's a little bit of like a, a deepy mauve, like a, a nude mauve, I would say. She has a lot of nude colors in this range. Hopefully it goes okay with the eye look, but if it doesn't, that's okay, guys. It's all for the demonstration and the review. I mean, look at that. Look at mm, the richness. I like that these are not sticky, but they are a little bit thicker, so they last longer on the lips. They have a beautiful glossy shine. They're very moisturizing, very nourishing on the lip. Do I need another lip gloss? No, I don't. But if I was to buy another lip gloss, I would definitely take a look at these. Once again, maybe like a little bit too deep and too purple for the eye look, but I don't, I don't care. I want to show you guys the gloss because these are 
my absolute favorite. All right, friends, and this is the final look. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the Seafoam Eyeliner. Do you think you would wear this color? I think it is absolutely beautiful. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. I certainly had fun talking through all these products, kind of sharing what are my favorites and which ones I don't use quite as much. My favorites by far are the bronzer, the eyeliners, definitely the eyeshadow sticks, and the mascaras. Those are my top recommendations, although all of the products are good. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys and you enjoyed the comparisons as well. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what are your favorite products from the brand or maybe what are some of the ones you want to try next. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.